Hello friends, I came across a really beautiful line in Rumi's poetry today that I wanted to share with you. So Rumi, like almost all the great luminous sages that we have ever had, acknowledges that ultimately everything comes from the grace of God, that it is all because of divine mercy that we get to be anything <laughs> and uh, reach any rank. He also recognizes that to be on a spiritual path takes work. It takes effort. There's a kind of exertion that is required. And he talks about this in this delicious, um, subtle paradox. The reason it takes work is that, of course, our ego, our selfishness, uh, does not wish for us to become that which we truly are. A luminous beings made in the image of God, destined to be a friend of God. So here's how Rumi puts it. He says, Jat kun ta nureto rachshan shavad, ta suluko khidmatat asan shavad. So pay attention to how he puts it. Jat kun, work hard. Exert yourself, struggle, jahd. It's from the same root as jihad, right? Which is not so much holy war as it is a sacred struggle. So struggle on the spiritual path, until your light, your nur, the light of your heart becomes luminous. To suluko khidmatat asan shavad until your saluk, your spiritual path that you follow to God, and your khidmat, your service to God, service to humanity becomes easy. Exert yourself so that your light can become luminous, so that your path and your service can become easy. Exert, you begin with exertion and you end with ease. Right. These are the two that complement one another. I thought you might enjoy that.